The Audi 100, one of the most successful cars on the road today, has set new standards for a whole vehicle generation. The Audi 100 is the finest example of the new impetus that the mark has given to automotive engineering. Audi and the Audi 100 are synonymous with innovations which really benefit the motorist and which make themselves felt at once. The convincing aerodynamic lines of the Audi 100 have set a new trend. It's a thoroughly mature and well thought out motor car for the most demanding driver. The fully galvanized body offers state of the art corrosion protection enhancing its service life and resale prospects. Its drag coefficient of 0.3 is among the lowest in its class. This favorable aerodynamic design ensures improved performance and lower fuel consumption. The flush glazing reduces air drag and minimizes wind noise inside the car. The spacious interior length of the Audi 100 makes it a leader in its class. Driver and passengers command enough space to prevent them feeling cramped even on long journeys. The wide choice of engine options ranges from the 51 kilowatt 70 horsepower diesel to the 121 kilowatt 165 horsepower turbocharged engine with emission control. The safe front wheel drive and permanent quattro all wheel drive are a guarantee of maximum mobility and safety. Optimum handling on every road surface in any weather. The Audi 100 Avant continues the successful trend set by the Audi 100 Saloon. The Avant signaled a brand new car design concept, a combination of spacious saloon and elegant coupe styling. The Audi 100 Avant with, for example, the 100 kilowatt, 136 horsepower, five cylinder fuel injection engine has real coupe qualities with its lively performance and elegant lines clothing a practical concept. The Audi counts among the avant-garde of the automobile world and continues to set new standards in automotive engineering. To maintain such high standards of excellence, Audi engineers are continually trying out new methods of development, design and manufacture for their model range. The elegant, slightly wedge-shaped lines of the Audi 100 were developed by means of methods and computer programs used in aircraft design. Starting from an idealized body shape, the aerodynamically optimized lines were evolved out of years of experimentation. The wind tunnel gave final shape to the revolutionary Audi 100 body. Inside, the test vehicle rests on a balance which records all the forces acting on it. A huge rotor generates the current of air that simulates the slipstream. Smoke jets render the airflow visible to the eye. Low turbulence along the body contours and the underside of the Audi 100, as well as low negative pressure over the rear end, are the preconditions for a favorable drag coefficient and therefore low air resistance. In achieving the ideal aerodynamic shape, many obstacles have to be overcome. Wheel openings, side mirrors, window frames, door handles, wheel houses and bumpers all contribute to increasing drag on the ideal body shape and prevent the vehicle from achieving a truly streamlined form. And it is in such details that the Audi 100 has made the most astonishing progress. The pioneering features of the Audi 100 model range are the sleek aerodynamic lines and the economy which results from them. The silhouette is mildly wedge-shaped the bonnet conceals the windscreen wiper shafts and has a strong upward curve. The windows have flush glazing. The large diameter wheel trims enhance the unified body appearance which lends such elegance to the Audi 100. The recessed door handles conform with the commitment to perfect aerodynamic styling. One further result of the wind tunnel tests is the compact but sturdy looking rear end of the Audi 100. The license plate panel emphasizes the striking impression. The Audi 100 and the Audi 100 Avant are available in a wide range of options. 
you can personalize your model as you require, from the standard production car to a highly sophisticated version with a wealth of personal extras. And this includes a choice of environmentally acceptable engine options as well. The pioneering wedge shape of the Audi 100 is convincingly preserved in the interior too. The line of the bonnet is extended to the dashboard and the raised cowl of the dash cover is harmoniously prolonged into the design of the window sills. So the Audi 100 interior fulfills the highest demands of a prestige saloon. New techniques of material application give the surroundings a feeling of restrained luxury. But it isn't only the innovative aspects of interior design which have conditioned the entirely restyled passenger compartment of the Audi 100. There are advantages of another sort too. The completely redesigned dashboard console makes driving the Audi 100 nothing but a pleasure. The raised cowl of the dash cover helps to shadow the interior and enhances driving comfort. The new, more powerful heating and ventilation system of the Audi 100 and the standard green-tinted heat-insulating glass help to maintain a uniform climatization of the passenger compartment and every driver knows how vital that is for relaxed and careful driving. Concentration and vigilance are both dependent on the driver's subjective well-being. The heating and ventilation system of the Audi 100 is the result of intensive research and development. Exhaustive climatic tests in the Sahara, as well as the Arctic, have produced a responsive and efficient climatization of the entire passenger compartment. The computer-designed, large-dimension ventilation outlets can be adjusted extremely finely. If required, an additional outlet can be fitted for the rear seat passengers at the rear end of the central console. The air inside the passenger compartment is recirculated up to four times every 60 seconds. In spite of this high airflow, there are no drafty spots. The high quality upholstery and fittings of the door make the driver feel securely enclosed and enhance his sense of safety. And the well thought out arrangement of all the controls and indicators adds to this feeling of security because everything is within easy reach, practical and perfect, form dictated by function. Take the generous lines of the cockpit, for example. All the controls and indicators, such as the electronic speedometer, the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauge, or the clock, are recessed dazzle-proof into the fascia. As an option, we can fit an auto-check system which monitors all relevant performance data and gives immediate warning of failures. All the dials and indicators are illuminated in advanced backlighting techniques which give clear visibility by night as well. And there's a compartment right next to the driver's position for all those little odds and ends that never find a home. It's also available for housing additional instrumentation. The glove compartment on the passenger side can be securely locked and the lock is conveniently within reach of the driver too. The central console repeats the design of the fascia and is generously prolonged backwards between the front seats. Every space is utilized as stowage room. The place reserved for your car audio system is within easy reach of both driver and front seat passenger and the edges are comfortably padded. Between the front seats and integrated into the overall design is the handbrake and the control for the differential lock on the Audi 100 Quattro. The window sills are trimmed with bright strips and the generous upholstery adds to the overall impression of opulence. The broad, well-padded armrest can accommodate a number of optional extras, electronic window lifts, power seat adjustment with memory and electrically controlled side mirror. The high level of interior trim the top quality materials and first class finish in combination with its modern and practical design make the Audi 100 as exemplary inside as it already is outside. The paragon of a whole automobile generation setting new standards in Audi advertising too. 
The Audi 100 was launched with a fascinating movie sequence. When a film as sensational as this is about to be shot, it's a tense moment for all concerned, including the Audi 100 Quattro. A borderline situation even for a four-wheel drive car, way outside of any normal driving contingency. Two production models of the Audi 100 Quattro were prepared for this unprecedented demonstration, driving up a ski jumping ramp. The film was shot in Finland on the championship ramp at Kaipola near Jemze. The ramp has an inclination of 37.5 degrees, in other words, an 80% slope. The most important consideration while shooting was the safety of the driver. Three different safety systems were used. First, an arresting system such as that used on aircraft carriers, which would catch the car at the bottom of the ramp if all other safety measures failed. Second, a cable which would automatically engage the car if it started to roll back or break out sideways. The car would push this mechanism up the cable, and if it slipped back, the parallelogram would close through spring loading. When it's stationary, the mechanism closes. The attempt will be filmed by several cameras from various viewpoints. You can crawl up there to a much higher position, but you get a frontal view then. The entry of the stars, bristling with Pirelli spikes demonstrating the third safety precaution, a mechanical emergency brake that digs into the jump floor and immediately brings the car to a halt. The big 42-ton mobile crane from the nearby paper factory will hoist the RD-100 Quattro to its starting position. The second camera viewpoints are fixed. Some shots will be obtained from the camera helicopter. camouflaging the arresting net because it would be a pity if the viewers later on thought that the safety measures for the benefit of the driver were tricks or weaknesses. A big team and a whole lot of technology are on permanent standby because the weather conditions and the brief northern daylight are decisive too. The driver of the Audi 100 Quattro is to be the experienced rally driver Harold Demut.
If the weather holds, we can be ready to shoot in half an hour. Stand by. Herr Demut, I don't want you to take any risks. What should we do, for example, if the first safety device doesn't work? We've got two other safety devices. If the cable brake fails, then I can trigger another brake mechanically which causes the car to dig into the surface and be blocked completely. And then we've got the net at the end of the ramp. So I don't think anything can go wrong. Okay, trust is okay, but safety first. And as you can see, Audi advertising is not only fun for the onlookers, but also for the Audi makers. Top performance features must go hand in hand with calculable safety factors. As far as passive safety goes, the Audi 100 conforms to up to the minute standards. Furthermore, permanent four wheel drive in the Quattro contributes to active road safety. The first Audi Quattro on the market was a sensational innovation. Audi became the first automotive manufacturer to offer permanent four-wheel drive throughout the model range. Today, more than 100,000 Audis are on the road in the Quattro version. An ever-increasing number of drivers recognize the advantages of permanent four-wheel drive. The new Torsen differential distributes the tractive forces as required. Before one axle can start to spin, the other is fed with more power, from 75% to the rear and 25% to the front axle and vice versa. Your Audi maintains its directional stability, can round corners at greater speed and has greater safety reserves in critical situations. Your Audi stays on the road in poor weather and surface conditions. Tire wear is reduced to a minimum because the optimum distribution of tractive forces almost completely does away with wheel spin. Quick and unproblematical getaway, even under extreme conditions, is ensured by the Torsen differential and the manual rear differential lock. As the Torsen differential permits RPM differences between all four wheels, Brake power can be individually regulated for each wheel, and so the anti-lock braking system, ABS, is fully effective. This combination of Quattro, 4WD and ABS provides the maximum of safety practicable today. Sensors located on all four wheels measure their revolutions, and the microprocessor optimizes the braking values for any given situation. By continually increasing, maintaining or decreasing the braking force within fractions of a second, the electronic control prevents the wheels locking up and guarantees optimum braking performance. The optional Audi Pro Content safety system has been awarded numerous prizes and diplomas for automobile safety, including the German Safety Award in gold. An entirely new accident protection concept utilizing mechanical methods without electronics. Here's how Pro Content works. The trunk of the driver is held down by the seat belt, while at the same time the steering wheel is pulled away from the driver's head and out of harm's way. This mechanical sequence is triggered by the deformation of the front portion of the car caused by the frontal impact that also pushes the engine and the gearbox towards the back. This backward movement tightens a steel rope running round the gearbox. As a result, the seat belts are pulled tight and the steering wheel is thrust forward. The tightening of the seat belts 
make sure that the driver and the passengers are not thrown into the seat belts, but are effectively decelerated together with the car's body at a very early point in time. Numerous tests have shown Procon 10 to be a significant step towards improved passive safety in automotive engineering. So, Audi's Procon 10 safety system, which comes as an extra on all Audis, is not only a pretty obvious idea, it also has some pretty obvious advantages. Quality is given pride of place in the Audi 100. It is attained on the one hand by the best possible production techniques, materials and workmanship, but also by the fully galvanized body, which not only increases each vehicle's service life, but also its resale value. Audi is the first large volume car maker to offer full galvanization, which may be a very complex and cost intensive process, but it is the best way of combating the perennial problem of rust. The protective effect is due to the fact that the corrosion rate of zinc is by nature five to ten times lower than that of steel. Every body shell is therefore made of galvanized steel sheet. To ensure that the galvanic coating on the steel is not damaged, the body has to be produced with the utmost care and precision. It is given additional protection by applying a layer of zinc phosphate. Corners and folds are additionally sealed with PVC. After the phosphate layer and the primer, a protective filler against stone impact is applied. It provides a flexible layer to protect against possible chipping of the top coat. The underbody and wheel arches receive a PVC coating and finally the underbody cavities are flooded with a hot wax seal. The most extreme conditions are deliberately sought to prove the quality and reliability of Audi cars in exhaustive trials. Apart from test driving in Arctic cold or in searing equatorial heat, they are subjected to rigorous laboratory tests at the Ingolstadt plant. After a 2,000 kilometer drive through mud and brine on grit and clinker tracks, the bodywork is then intentionally scratched and dented to enable rust development to be studied on the mutilated surfaces. And then the car is subjected to the most rigorous testing imaginable. The Audi 100s are placed in the torture chambers. These sophisticated test setups simulate in only 14 weeks all the corrosive influences acting on a vehicle during a service life of six years. The heart of the system is a three-chamber arrangement in which the vehicles are subjected to an ordeal of climatic and atmospheric extremes. In the climatic chamber, tropical conditions up to 40 degrees Celsius and 95% to 100% humidity can be simulated. The car begins to sweat, condensation is deposited and creeping damp penetrates into corners, folds and joins. And on top of it all, the car is irradiated with intensive ultraviolet light. In the cold vibration chamber, the vehicles are shaken for hours on end at normal temperatures of 20 degrees Celsius, as well as in Arctic cold. Grit guns shoot sharp grit particles at the body, and this very quickly shows whether the paintwork and galvanic coating will be able to stand up to rigorous road conditions. On a roller dynamometer in the salt spray chamber, the Audi 100 is put through an artificial rain of brine at a simulated road speed of 80 kph. In between the various torture chambers, the Audi 100 is taken to the torture track to undergo test drives through salt solutions and brine saturated mud. The data and insights gained during this martyrdom provide feedback for material acquisition and production engineering, enabling Audi to rest assured that they have done the utmost to guarantee the long-term quality of their vehicles.
the know-how and achievement which the Audi 100 puts on the road today are backed up by years of tradition. The lineage of the Audi mark can be traced back to one outstanding personality, the automobile pioneer August Horch. He was more than a successful entrepreneur and car designer. He can be reckoned among those who played a decisive role in the development of the motor car. The name Audi for the mark was derived from the Latinization of the German word Horch, listen. Together with a number of partners, August Horch founded the company in 1909. Horch motor cars were the epitome of the automobile culture of their epoch. They were the favorite conveyance of high society. This applied in particular to the sporting convertible Horch 853A. This elegant sports car from the 850 series was the dream of many a film star of the 1930s. The type designation 850 stood for eight cylinders with five liters displacement. This outstandingly well-designed sports car was not only convincing in its outward appearance, but had a whole lot of innovative technology inside as well. The independent front wheel suspension and the dual joint axle at the rear, which made use of the De Dion principle of a rigid axle with the differential and axle drive bolted to the chassis and the wheels being driven via separate universal shafts. The car was evolved at the urgent request of the marketing department, who recognized the demand for a superior sports convertible in the 5 litre class at a reasonable price and which could be put on the road in large production series. The reaction to the Horch 853 at the Motor Show in Berlin, Germany was overwhelming. The marketing management reported off-the-stand sales in unprecedented numbers. 50 orders were taken at once although even the most optimistic estimates had not reckoned with more than 15 sales of the Horch 853. On account of its elegant lines and its reasonable price, the sports cabriolet was not only the top hit for Horch, but the 853 was the front runner of the whole motor show. The highly sophisticated automotive technology, coupled with the good reputation that the Audi 100 has gained worldwide and its innovative design and engineering, are the logical outcome of some hundred years of automobile history. Why not make your own estimation of the new Audi 100's unique performance?